everybody and welcome to Bella Coco. My name is Sarah Jane and I'm really excited to be bringing you a Christmas mini-series. Over the next few weeks I'm going to be showing you how to make some decorations for your table, for your Christmas tree and giving you some super easy gift wrap ideas. If you're new around here then make sure that you subscribe to keep up to date with all of the latest videos. This week I'm going to be showing you how to make some super cute easy pom-poms and you can make these in all different sizes so that you can use them on some gift wrap or even on the Christmas tree like we have on this one behind me. Uh, really good multiple uses for these. They are so quick and easy to make. You don't have to concentrate, you can do them um, in front of the TV, get your family involved. Just really, really satisfying. So I hope you enjoy. In order to create my pom-poms today, I'm going to be using this handy pom-pom maker, my selected yarn and a pair of scissors. So today I'm going to show you how I make these pom-poms with this really handy gadget. As you can see, this comes in two pieces which open up, they have a clip on each one. And what you do is you simply pop these together, like so. Um, so that your grooves are in the opposite side so you can just feel that it fits together and you are actually going to leave these open for now so you're going to open up your pom-pom maker and then you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to place your yarn down with your finger just like this readjust the pom-pom maker if you need to and then you're simply going to wrap your yarn around both sides of the pom-pom maker. So if you need to, as you're working, just readjust it so that it's sitting correctly. So you're just winding round your yarn around the whole of the pom-pom maker. So the more yarn you add to your pom-pom maker as you go around like this, so the more that you build it, the thicker or fuller your pom-pom is going to be. So if you're like me and like a really nice full pom-pom, you're going to wrap more yarn around your pom-pom maker. So as you can see here now, my this side is really nice and full. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the yarn. And just so this isn't just flapping about everywhere, I'm just going to tuck this under one of the other strands just to keep it nice and in place. Like so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to open up the other side and do exactly the same thing. So placing your yarn down and wrapping it round. So once you've finished your second side again you just simply snip off your yarn and then tuck that under one of the threads just to keep it nice and secure. And then what you're going to do is you're going to clip the sides together. So these clips here, just press them together and clip them down. Now what you'll notice is you've got a little gap in between here. This is the fun part. This is where you take your scissors, nice sharp scissors because you want to be able to get this all in one go. Um, so you're going to insert your scissors in between that gap and then you are going to cut your pom-pom. Now I like to just keep my fingers in the center here just to stop any of the threads falling out but you're simply going to do one side and then the other. So at this point you see your pom-pom starting to form but obviously we need to make sure that these uh, threads are all connected in the middle. You want to grab your yarn again and you're going to slide that into the centre of your pom-pom. And then what you're going to do is simply tie that and then pull it nice and tight. I then like to flip mine over and tie again. So pull it nice and tight. And do that as many times as you feel the need to. Try not to pull on your yarn too tight when you're tying because you don't want to snap it. Um, but just making sure that it is nice and secure. 
Now at this point I'm going to leave uh, my thread connected to the actual ball itself. I'm just going to snip off this little bit here and then what you want to do is open up your clips and then open up your pom-pom maker and there you have your pom-pom. So all that's now left to do is simply give it a little bit of a haircut. Some people like a more scruffy pom-pom, other people's like it to be really nice and neat. Obviously it's totally up to you. But I'm gonna show you now how I'm gonna add this to my gift. So here is my gift all nicely wrapped and ready to go. And I'm gonna add my finishing touches to this. So I'm going to add my pom-pom onto the top. And as I said before, I left this attached to the actual ball of yarn itself. And I'm going to wrap this around the gift just to create a really cute and pretty alternative to your traditional wrapping paper. So do that as many times as you want and then you can tie off and there you have your different type of gift wrap. But of course if you wanted to make smaller pom-poms and add multiple pom-poms to your gift wrap, you can just take a glue gun and stick them on like so. So there you go, this is how you can make your super easy pom-poms in all different sizes. We do have pom-pom makers listed on Bella Coco store, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But as always, I really encourage you to play around with uh, these ideas, create your own, kind of put your own twist on it. Uh, let us know by using hashtag BC Christmas, we'd be happy to have a look at all the things that you're creating. Make sure that you tune in next week and I'm going to be showing you how to make these super cute those. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!